For me, winning Cox Plate is not merely an ambition, it's an obsession. It is an honour roll punctuated by so many greats of the Australian turf. Both of these horses have real X factor and a great will to win. We're coming over to make our presence felt. It's a race steeped in history, especially here in New Zealand. So to have two genuine contenders is the stuff dreams are made of. I know what it felt like when we settled up a Villiers in the Cox Plate last year. It's a good race to be a part of and I think it's not going to be one lightly, that's for sure. You can't fluke a Cox Plate, you know, we'll have to have a good horse like Avilius at his absolute peak. Last year was the hardest owner of racetrack we've ever experienced. Kingswell Dream's going to be pulled up. Kingswell Dream is out of the race. To see the horse leave the track the way he did, it was such a tragedy. But he's back bigger, better than ever. And he's got a great will to win. And hopefully we can erase those memories from last year. I never thought I'd ever ride Cox Plate Day and I won last year, so to be in the actual race is just an unbelievable feeling. I'm so fortunate, just lucky, I was at the right place at the right time. She's taken me on a journey that I didn't think she would and yeah, hopefully the journey continues. Mystic journey going well, always good, Tiago Shark. Baravillius is wearing in front, Melody Bell kicking. It's all King's Will dream, Cubador on the outside is trying hard. This is a race that gives you an opportunity to leave your footprints in the sands of racing history.